Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is Mother's Day today, it's an absolutely gorgeous day and yesterday I spent the day in my pyjamas so today I decided to get dressed, put my makeup on and because I am doing a Zoom tomorrow, um, I am an expert trainer with The Body Shop at home um, in my region for my area and I would normally tomorrow be in a gorgeous room in an amazing hotel uh, and I'd have a model and I would be training the girls a makeup look uh, but instead I am doing the makeup on myself tomorrow and I'm doing it over Zoom so I thought I would come up with a makeup look today uh, practice it today, do that for you to say on YouTube and then I know that I'm happy with that look and I can create it for the girls tomorrow. I always start with the Vitamin C Skin Reviver. I absolutely love this. It smells amazing. It gives me a wake up call, makes me feel amazing. It has camo camo berries in from the Amazonian rainforest and it has a really nice luminescence to it. It's really awakening. in. So even if you're having a makeup free day, just to inhale it, and pop it onto your skin it does just wake you up it makes you feel revived i mean it's called vitamin c skin reviver but it really does make you feel revived and it makes your skin look awake and then what i always do is grab a lip balm so today i'm going to use the pink grapefruit lip butter these are absolutely amazing smell incredible too it's divine i love the color of it it just leaves a subtle hint of colour on your lips uh, but yeah I always like to give my lips a bit of moisture before I start putting a foundation on that way they're ready for when you go to apply lipstick when you've finished your makeup look or also just moisturises those lips and kind of like helps to prevent your foundation from sticking to your lips. I'm going to use Sanago Bamboo Matte Clay. This is a really high coverage of foundation. I like a bit more of a subtle coverage. So what I'm going to do is mix it up. So just put a little bit on my hand there to which I'm going to add some of this now this is in first so this will lighten it down as well to better match my skin tone this is the fresh nude tinted beauty balm again you can use this alone i'm just gonna add a little bit to that so it's just about creating um my own personal preference and then I'm going to add this, which is the Illuminating Drops of Glow Luster Finish Creator. It's uh, for the face and eyes and lips, and it's Illuminator. It's absolutely lovely. So it has this little pipette. I'm just going to add a couple of drops. And that is just going to give it a really nice, sparkly, luminous glow. But it's also going to help um, to kind of like tame it down a bit. So I'm just going to mix that together. There we go. So I'm just going to add some and then I'm going to blend it all out. Always get it down your neck as well because you do not want it your foundation to cut off there because you'll just end up with like different coloured neck and we don't want that. Then I absolutely love the Brow Sculpt 3-in-1. So this is absolutely amazing.
then secondly, use the wax part, which is again, it's a nice dark brown wax to match my eyebrows. And it just fills in any further parts which need filling in if you've over plucked over the ear or just naturally have bald patches in your eyebrow. And it helps to thicken the appearance of the brow as well. And finally is the special mascara wand for the eyebrow. This just helps to define those hairs, make them stand out, give you a fuller brow and also to hold your eyebrows in place. This sets the brow. As you can see, I've made a little mistake. So no worry, you can grab something. Luckily, I had to hand a cotton bud and I just gently neaten it up get rid of any splodginess and just perfect that brow. And as you can see, it's all nice and clean. Oh, I forgot to uh, dampen down this. Now you can spritz it, but today I wanted to actually dampen it in the sink and wring it out and then it's really nice and damp. And that way, when you apply your concealer, um, it helps it blend in better. It's going in with some concealer. Get your pat and just work your way out. It's quite relaxing, it's one of those weird relaxing things. For me, anyway. Nevada Gold, I absolutely love this one. It's like a really pale goldy colour. So I'm just going to bob that. Not all the way up to the end, but more than halfway across, three quarters of the way across. And then just out a little bit. And I'm just going to blend that adds a really nice sparkle. I don't know if you can see that on this camera. And then in the outer corners, I'm just going to put a little bit of this one, which is kind of like a granite colour. So this is Cario Granite. And as you can see, it's really nice, almost black with sparkles in it. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just putting that in the outer corners. And again, you do not have to be precise with this. You can blend it out afterwards. Um, There you go, I'm happy with that. Again, I'm putting eyeshadow over the top of this. So this really doesn't need to be precise at all. So you can blend this out with a brush or your fingers. I'm just going to go with finger for ease. This palette, Paint in Colour palette from The Body Shop. And I'm going to go with this really nice green colour. I absolutely love this. Let's go with this brush. Yeah, that green one. And then 
should always tap it off as well, shouldn't you? So it's circular motion from the corner in and you just want to cover it really um halfway go up well almost like three quarters so some of it will be on where you use the black color and then some of it will be on where you put the gold color because uh, again we did the gold color coin three quarters of the way across the eye um, and it will just give it a really nice gradient so it'll go from really dark and bold into a bit more subtle so it's almost like a smoky um green coming into um like a lighter you might be see, able to see that bit in the middle is a bit brighter and then it's darker so I'm going to do the same on the other side green And again, we can neaten out any of the edges at the end. Just gonna get a bit more of that green. so nice so then what I'm going to do is now I'm happy with the green I might add slightly more at the end what I'm going to do now is just grab another brush again I'm just using like the fluffy ended brushes like really nice blending brushes and I'm going to go in with that really nice gold one you can see I've used that one quite a lot <laughs> so again Tap off the excess that just helps it stop dropping onto your cheeks. And go in from the inner corner, just over, and then I always like to blend across the top a little bit and blend a bit onto that green so you're not jumping one colour to the other. You kind of do want to blend it in slightly. The same again on the other eye. And also put a little bit in the corner where it's over. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna grab, what shall I do? I'm gonna grab a little bit of this one and I'm just gonna use it at the top because I don't wanna be like overkill with sparkle because we have got a sparkle underneath at the top. I just want a really nice at the top there. Just kind of neutralize it and finish the look. I shouldn't have blown that then, should I? These are my own brushes though. And I do wash them as well. So every time I use them, I do wash them as well. Uh, if you want to see how I wash my makeup brushes, then check out my Himalayan charcoal uh, soap of the... That makes no sense. If you... 
so if you want to see how I clean my makeup brushes I will link at the end of this video another video which shows you how I clean my makeup brushes there you go so I'm just gonna check and see what if anything I need a bit more I'm quite happy with that I like that while I've got this one I'm just gonna add in the corners underneath there get that really nice gold shimmer do you know what I think I'm really happy with that I might just add a little bit more gold looks like gold So I'm just going to tidy up the edges now. So I'm just grabbing the brush that's still got a little bit of excess of the, I'm not dipping again, just the one that has a little bit of excess powder still left on it just to make this side look the same as the other side I'm going to use this one so this is the super volume mascara and of course all the makeup that I use today is the body shop So my ultimate favourite blusher from the body shop and just in general is this. I've been using it for years, you can probably see. It has had a few years of use in it. So this is the Shimmer Waves in 02 blush. I have recently purchased all the other ones. I got the brown one in my kit and the peach one I recently purchased, which is in a my latest body shop haul video. And then this is my favourite that I've had for years. So I'm just going to get my blusher brush and swirl just all the way around. It's got really nice colours in it and it just blends it through and then gives a really nice highlight as well. Same again on the other cheek. See, it's got a really nice shine to it. I, already, I look like I've already got highlighter on but I haven't. So there we have it. So what I'm gonna do for my, for my highlighter today is use that really nice gold one again. So I've just got a nice brush that is um, kind of more pointed at the end. It's quite fluffy and light, so just use delicate sweeps. So I'm just gonna go in there. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love highlighter. So yeah. You don't have to go out and buy a specific highlighter. You can just use really nice shimmery, glittery eyeshadow and it works just as well. Oh, I am loving that. And of course, because you've got it on your eyes, it kind of blends in as well. Looks really nice. 
So today I'm just going to stick with my gorgeous lip butter. And there we go. I, I kind of I kind of like having, I either go really bold and go for a red lip or a bright pink lip, always normally a red lip, or I like a really nice eye and then a really nice neutral lip. So I just go generally with a lip butter on my hemp lip balm. So there you go. That is the pink grapefruit love. You can see that highlight there. And the gorgeous difference between the eyeshadows blended in and that is literally just two colors on the eyes for the eyeshadow i've used the same one for the highlighter and then i've used those two color sticks as well so guys i hope you have enjoyed this video if you would like to see more videos like this or you have any suggestions uh please hit me up with the comments and suggest a makeup look or if you want to know how to use any of the body shop makeup please just drop me a comment and uh, yeah give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel don't forget to check out the himalayan charcoal brush washing if you'd like to see how i wash my makeup brushes as well okay guys thanks bye